Revivals often happen when you see your sins, you see the devastation, you see the house being torn down, and you fall on your face and you say, oh Lord, what, what has happened? And what, what has happened is that we've built our house upon the sand. The Lord Jesus Christ told the parable of the house built on the rock and the house built on the sand. And the house built on the rock in his story is the house built on obedience. When you build your house upon the rock, the house won't be blown down, it'll stand. But if you build it on sand, it will be blown down. The sand is neglecting the commandments of God. And so we look back on this devastated landscape of youth ministry. We see a house torn down. We need to consider this question. Has the house been torn down because we've neglected obedience to simple commands and practices for fathers, for church leaders, and we have neglected the explicit patterns that we see in every part of Scripture. That's what I believe has happened. We rejected the Word of God, and now the house of our youth has been destroyed. My prayer for this film is that people would walk away seeing the beauty of Scripture, the elegance and the texture and how wonderful it is that God has given hundreds of commands and patterns that are beautiful for the ministry of youth. God must love youth so much that he would, he would require so much of men and women in order to minister to youth. So I want them to see this beautiful tapestry of Scripture that explains in amazing detail about exactly how parents should minister to youth. And then secondly, I, I pray that they see the stark difference between that and the modern youth ministry methodology, that it is indisputably unbiblical, and that they would put their hand on the weed and pull it out, and that they would be willing to take the risk on the Word of God, and that as they pull it out, as the church is left bleeding and hurt from it, that they would replace it with something so wonderful that the wounds would recede in people's minds so quickly and they would see the healing salve of the Word of God.